At Ankersome Academy, we aim to deliver a high-quality computing education which equips pupils to thrive in a rapidly changing digital world around us. Our broad and balanced curriculum encompassing computer science, information technology and digital literacy allows for creative thinking and collaboration to be at the heart of what we teach. Our pupils learn how to create and responsibly consume the vast amount of content that technology has to offer. And Kosome Academy creates confident, curious and responsible users of technology through quality first teaching. Our curriculum is based on the structure of the NCCE's Teach Computing curriculum and adapted to suit our learners. Using their structure ensures we deliver a broad and balanced curriculum covering the three main strands of the national curriculum, computer science, information technology and digital literacy, underpinned by computational thinking. The adaptions we have made ensure we are providing an ambitious, engaging learning experience for our pupils with cross-curricular links to give context to their learning. The teaching of computing is underpinned by the 12 pedagogies for teaching computing developed by experts from the National Centre of Computing Education. One of these is work together to encourage collaboration. We encourage collaboration specifically using pair programming and peer instruction. Working together stimulates classroom dialogue, articulation of concepts and development of shared understanding. To ensure our pupils gain the most benefit from collaborative work, we use dynamic pairing based on the unit of work. Our provision of a high quality computing provision was formally recognised when we were awarded the Computing Quality Mark, the first primary school in England to achieve this. We now share our expertise and support other schools across Lancashire through our role working with the countrywide network of computing hubs. The teaching of online safety is embedded throughout the TCC. In addition to this, we use Project Evolve. Project Evolved is a vast library of content resourcing all 330 statements from the UK Council for Internet Safety's framework, Education for a Connected World. Although we timetable strands to be covered in each term, the detail of these lessons are adapted dependent on gaps identified in the knowledge map surveys that each year group complete at the beginning of the, each term. Although computing is not mandatory in EYFS, our foundation stage team ensure that pupils have access to a range of technology and have opportunities to use it in order to set them up for the national curriculum later on. Pupils regularly use iPads to make observations and record the environment around them. They also have regular use of the interactive whiteboards in every classroom to access a range of games and videos. B-Bots begin to introduce coding and computational thinking. Going into the summer term, our digital leaders take groups of pupils to familiarise them with laptop computers ready for year one. We strive for our learning environment to be completely inclusive. Careful consideration is given to the layout of devices and pairings. All pupils work on the same activity, but can be successful at different levels and when scaffolding is required, it is available to all. With the diverse range of topics we study within the subject, there is a unit that everyone can enjoy and feel a sense of accomplishment. Extension tasks are also available to all. Some pupils excel at programming, others at the creative side, such as creating media. There is no ceiling on their learning. Formative assessment takes place every lesson by the computing and class teacher working together. At the end of each unit, pupils complete a form of assessment, such as an interactive quiz, rubric, end of unit Google form, or an open-ended piece of independent work. The computing teacher, with input from the class teacher, then makes a judgment on each pupil as to whether they are working towards, at or above expectations. These judgments are then used twice a year for the class teacher to accurately make their judgments on Arbor. Ankersome Academy is fortunate to have a dedicated computing suite equipped with 17 laptops and an interactive whiteboard. This is accessed by every Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 child every week. Disseminated across the school are five trolleys of 31 iPads. Within computing, the school has micro bits and crumble kits to enhance the curriculum. Through our computing hub, we are also able to lend resources from other schools as needed. Our team of digital leaders is made up of one child per class in Key Stage 2. These pupils have been identified as working securely or more able and are seen as computing role models across the school. Their role includes many responsibilities including supporting peers within computing lessons, helping with technology in the classroom, maintaining resources and running assemblies, for example, for Safer Internet Day. At Ankersome, we provide as many enrichment opportunities as possible. Our computing teacher runs a code club for Upper Key Stage 2 once a week for all those pupils with a passion for coding. 
Every pupil in Upper Key Stage 2 is provided with further opportunities for coding and creative computing in our weekly Funky Friday sessions. Enrichment opportunities are also provided within lessons. For example, every year five and six pupil takes part in the Bebra's Computational Thinking National Competition and every year five pupil where microbit coding is sent to the International Space Station is able to participate in Astro Pi. As a digital leader, our jobs are to build with iPads on things such as books to keep the iPad safe and bang them if they go missing, help the teacher if anything goes wrong on the computer during lessons and to make sure everyone stays safe online. We have our meetings every Wednesday and on Safer Internet Day, February 6th, we will be, ha we will be doing an assembly on how to stay safe online. Why is computing such an important subject? It is so important to learn computing because now, they, now most things are online, including if most people want to, buy, to write a letter, they would do it online. If someone wants to buy clothes, they would do it online. And if someone wants to do something financially, such as bills and selling things, they would do it online, etc. Knowing computing is vital for our future. Thank you for listening to my speech.